Good day, class. Welcome to another lecture video for CE 113, Building Systems Design. Once again, I am architect Seth Carlo Bielsa, your instructor, and today we will discuss the technical documentation. So, uh, <clears throat> what are the laws that cover our design and construction practice? Why is there a need for contracts in all our undertakings? So we'll try to answer these questions in this lecture. So we have this uh, law on obligations and contracts. No? What are uh, this, no? the body of rules, which deals with the nature and sources of obligations and the rights and duties arising from agreements and particular contracts. So, uh, ayun daw ang obligation and con definition of obligation and contracts no? according to our uh, civil code. No? An obligation is a uh, juridical no? necessity to give, to do, or not to do. No? Obligation in its passive aspect, the duties under the law of the debtor or obligor, it is a tie or bond. Ah, sorry, this is for contracts. No? So, ibig sabihin, obligation, uh, meron kang duties no? na kailangan ibigay. You are obliged to do. No? And yung contracts naman, no? a contract is a uh, tie or bond recognized by law by virtue of which one is bound in favor of another to render something. No? So, ibig sabihin, obligation, ibig sabihin, you are obliged to do. Kailangan mong gawin. Contract naman is something that uh, you need to do no? because you created a bond or an agreement with a second party. No? So, pwede ba nating takasan yung ating obligation or yung contract? Pwede ba nating uh, disregard? No? So, the answer is no. no. Because there is a conclusive presumption of the knowledge of law no? regarding and, uh, obligations and contracts kapag ka nag-agree uh, both parties, the first party and the second party, no? it becomes an agreement it becomes now uh, covered by law. No? And uh, when you say uh, hindi, hindi mo uh, susundin no? kasi hindi mo alam yung iyong obligation or hindi mo susundin yung part ng contract kasi hindi mo naman alam no? or you neglect to do uh, that your obligation no? as uh, described in a contract or in your agreement it will not excuse you. No? Kasi our law is very strict on this. No? Ignorance of it, uh, uh, sabi nga sa Article 3, no? it excuses no one from the compliance. No? So everyone, therefore, is conclusively presumed to know the law. So uh, in our conscience, we carry norms of right and wrong and a sense of duty so that our reason indicates many times that we have to do and in more juridical relations, no? pagka hindi maintindihan yung uh, ano ba yung sinasabi ng contract no? or ano ba yung obligation, no? there are lawyers who should be consulted. Pero sa atin, uh, those in the uh, construction industry no, or in the design and construction industry, we have a different understanding of the contracts. No? Our contracts is different from the usual contract because we call our contract contract documents. No? So, hindi lang siya isa, no? a service agreement, no? uh, or a mutual agreement ng uh, dalawang parties. So, uh, it has no, five more documents no, consisting of this. 
special provisions or merong uh, yung uh, conditions no? and then we have the general conditions no? because our uh, language in the construction is uh, very technical no? and uh, sometimes our words you know, our terms in construction uh, have the have different meaning no? doon sa uh, usual na mga words no terms and uh, our drawings, no, as uh, part of our instruments of service, no? it also form part of our contract, no. Kaya nga meron din tawag na drawings na signed and sealed, no. So ibig sabihin ang gumawa ay yung designer, designing engineer, no, or yung architect. And uh, meron din tayo yung specifications, no? tactical specifications, no. So yung uh, materials that we are going uh, to use no, or we recommend to use anong brand anong color so dito natin nilalagay no so it is also binding no so it also form part of the contract and lastly we also submit yung mga uh, tender or bid documents so itong uh, contract documents na ito, no, yung letters A to E, ito yung uh, definition ng contract documents no, na sinasabi ng CIAP document 102 for Friday practice. Pero kung uh, ay involved naman yung uh, public uh, construction no, or uh, government projects, so hindi lang uh, limang documents yung kasama dun sa contract. No? So nadadagdagan pa. Ano ano tong mga to? Yung instruction to bidders, no? Uh, bid addenda, no? The compilation of the uh, uh addendo, the addenda that uh, were published during the uh, bidding time, no? Or the bid period, the bid forms, no? Sinasabi din. Bonds, no? especially in the uh, uh, government no so kailangan yung bonds no kailangan din yung surety no? so bonds and surety are different and the notice of award no? so ito yung uh, components ng uh, contract documents no so more than 10 kapag katinignan naman natin no? yung uh, contract documents for government projects under CIAP document 1 o one. So, uh, ayun, yung ating uh, contract documents. Let us start uh, with the first part, no? yung uh, tinatawag na proforma or the service agreement. So, the term proforma is a Latin term for a matter of form. No? And uh, it is a document that is provided as a courtesy no, or satisfies minimum requirements, conforms to a norm or doctrine, and tends to be performed perfunctorily or is considered a formality. No? So, ibig sabihin itong uh, service agreement na to, meron kayong uh, agreement no, ng second party. No? So, usually ito sa design no, or sa design and build or sa consulting services in the uh, uh, design and construction industry. No. So bago ka mag-render ng service, no, professional service or consulting service, you need this uh, you need to uh, have this service agreement uh, agreed no by both parties no bago ka mag-render no serbisyo. So, ibig sabihin, in the service agreement, dapat nakastipulate na dito ano-ano yung mga ibibigay mo servisyo. No? Design ba yan? Design and build? Specialized uh, consultancy? No? And ano yung mga deliverables mo? No? Magbibigay ka ba ng drawing? Magbibigay ka ba ng uh, material? No? Uh, anong size ng drawing? Ang ibibigay mo, 20 by 30? A3, A1, A0, yung paper size. No? 
And then submission, date of submission. Kailan ka ba magsasubmit ng mga drawings? No? December uh, 2021 ba? December 2022? No? Or kung kailan mo lang trip? No? So in, uh, dito nakastipulate yung mga... And of course, no? in the service agreement, very important, nakastipulate din dito yung professional fee. No? So ito, uh, this is agreed by both parties. So it is a contract between uh, the owner, contractor, no? and the uh, design engineers. No? Na ito yung uh, mga agreements, no? yung mga uh, napag-usapan. So secondly, uh, general conditions. No? Ito yung... Uh, sinasabi ko kanina that uh, our terms, no, some of our words in the design and construction industry no, have different meaning dun sa layman's term. No? So we have these general conditions. No? So uh, the general conditions is either a CIA document 101 or 102. So this is a document that is regulated no? and uh, publish ng CIAP para makontrol, parang DTI, <clears throat> para makontrol yung uh, quality no, ng serbisyo, yung quality ng trabaho na ating mga nasa design and construction industry. So uh, in our synchronous class, we will have a uh, separate discussion, dedicated lecture, for these general conditions. No, so ito yun, 101 for government construction, 102 for private construction. So third part ng ating uh, contract drawings. No? So what are drawings? These are graphical representations of the work involved in a project. No? So, uh, Kasama dito sa drawings, no, yung mga supplementary details no, and uh, shop drawings na, na binibigay ng mga specialized contractors. So uh, in civil no, or structural, uh, ito yung mga usual na drawings. No? The foundation layout, no? it is not a plan, it is a layout. The floor framing layout, no? bakit ba tinawag na layout, bakit hindi plan? No? Kasi pag plan, uh, meron kang sukat. No? And uh, in the structural drawings, no? hindi ka dapat magbe-verify ng sukat uh, on these uh, layouts. No? You always check the uh, reference in the base plan. And what is that? That will be your architectural plans. No? And uh, iba pang... Uh, Kasama dito sa mga drawings, no? the floor slab layout no? and the schedule ng mga reinforcement, yung stair details, no? the roof framing, the column layout, no? kasama yung foundation layout, the uh, footing layout, and the schedule of the column, no? yung mga reinforcement, ilan, gano'ng kadami, uh, ilan ang bakal, the beam layout and the schedule no? ng mga reinforcement. No, anong layout ng rebar, uh, anong layout ng stirrups, anong size ng stirrups, and other pertinent structural details. No? So say for example, wall footing, no? septic tank uh, detail, uh, retaining wall. No? So uh, ayun. Fourth part ng uh, contract documents, no? is the uh, technical specifications. So separate document din to na ibibigay natin sa ating client. No? So technical specifications are written or printed description of work to be done describing the quality of the material, no? the mode of construction, and yung uh, workmanship. No? So dito mo i describe kung paano i-assemble yung material no 
or anong description ng material yung gusto nating ipalagay doon sa building no, bilang mga designer. No? So, uh, drawings and technical specifications go hand in hand. No? So, ang technical specifications, no, hindi yung nakikita nating mga text no, doon sa side ng ating elevation. No? So, hindi yon. These are just uh, material finishes call outs no we call out yung uh, material no but hindi nakalagay doon yung specification a specification no is a diagrammatic representation no and then uh, it def it defines the quality of the materials the workmanship and establishes the scope of the work It is technical in nature. No? It should be clear and concise. No? It contains as few words as necessary. So, uh, ano ba yung isang example ng uh, technical specifications? Ito yung specifications for a uh, school building project no? by uh, the Department of Education. So, uh, this describe yung uh, workmanship. So, for example, so excavation and shoring, kung makikita ninyo. So, uh, nandun, no? yung depth and width na sinasabi niya. Uh, for the roof framing, paano ba yung gusto niyang uh, weld, no? yung uh, connection ng mga bakal. No? Uh, pero sinamahan niya ng drawing. No? But uh, in a technical specifications, this should only be words. No? So, uh, we will have also a another lecture for uh, technical specifications. And uh, lastly, yung uh, sinasubmit, no? mga bid and tender documents. No? So these are collective documents that are referred to as provided or made available to prospective bidders. No? It's, uh, it includes the invitation to bid and the copy of the contract. Of course, uh, yung notice of award doon sa winning meter. No? So, uh, these documents, no? ito, ito yung mga yon. The invitation to bid, yung bulletin, yung mga addendum, yung bonds, yung surety, and the work schedule and the notice of award. No? Other instruments of service pa no? na uh, we give no? to the client Ito yung uh, bill of quantities. No? So a bill of quantities, it is a list of the specific items in the scope of work and their corresponding unit prices, lump sum or provisional sum. No? So yung ating tinatawag na estimate. So uh, that's it. Ito yung ating uh, technical documentation in uh, na binibigay no? as a part no? ng mga contract documents. So, uh, I will see you for our synchronous class no? and uh, we will have separate uh, focus discussion on this uh, different parts of the contract documents. No? So, thank you and see you next time.